You're about to embark on a journey through the written word of God on subjects that deal with the day. This is Brothers Just Searching. Hi everyone, welcome to Brothers Just Searching, where we talk about God's word and current world events to educate and to build the body of Jesus Christ. And uh, as you can see, we're a skeleton crew tonight, so it's just me and my Lovely father, he decided to take the little place tonight. So we're glad you're here with me and, you know, so we can learn God's word mm-hmm. and stuff. So how's everything going, my father? Going good. I mean, we're learning a lot about the things of the Lord and growing in some areas that I've been serving the Lord a very long time. I, I asked myself the other day how in the world I didn't see that years ago about the mm-hmm. things that God has revealed about placing the Lord first and loving right. the Lord with all our heart. And... Uh, being thankful for the things that he's done for us, like like you know the man, man the man and mammon <laughs> man of uh, message I had the other day just encouraged some people and because yeah. we we you know we've gotten to the place where we discontent mm-hmm. we complain a lot. You mean the manner and the wilderness? Yes, yeah. and mm-hmm. and, the and, and mm-hmm. when after a while the children of Israel were tired of eating the manna, mm-hmm. and the Lord reminded me, son, be thankful mm-hmm. for the manner every day. Every yeah. day of your life, worship me. Thank. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't be uh, selfish. Don't be discontent. Mm-hmm. And remember, I am the provider. You know, I was of all things. You know, I was watching Veggie Tales one day, and since you talk about that, they still saying how Joshua. They say Moses has died, but God rose up a new leader. And now it's time. They're like, it's time. It's time. He really say it's time. They said, we're tired of eating in the desert. We're tired of eating manor like in the desert. <laughs> Remember, Boo, keep, yeah. that on, keep this on the adult level. <laughs> yeah, so I was just kind of thinking about that, you know. No. Or you, you, you think it's yeah, showing, you know. Right. And so the, the manor. But the thing is, though, you know, a lot of people don't realize, you know, that bread, you know, was also symbol of the Word of God. Of course, that's not right. what we're talking about tonight, but... It's also a symbol of the word of God. Just like you, you know, just like they ate that bread, you have to eat that word. Right. So, right. Well, yeah. I want to say one more thing. That's something the Lord has showed me mm-hmm. about a month back. I was thinking of reading about Stephen when he's been stoned. Yeah. And the Lord spoke to my heart. You know, Stephen was being gnawed on with by the he was they were biting him. Mm-hmm. That's how angry when he started testifying False of Jesus. For you. Mm-hmm. He's resurrected. He's he's alive. Mm. And they gnawed on him with their teeth, and he got him something. And Stephen looked up, and he says, "I see Jesus sitting on the right hand of God, mm. or standing on the right hand mm-hmm. of the Father." Mm-hmm. And the Lord spoke to my heart, son. Whenever you go through persecution, whenever you go through trials, whenever the world is coming against you, mm-hmm. whenever you face sickness and 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 affliction, mm-hmm. you you look up to me and say, "I see Jesus. Mm. I see Jesus." When your prayer time, you look up. So I, you might not see him physically. Mm-hmm. But you see him in faith. Mm-hmm. And it's like laying everything at his, at his altar. Mm-hmm. Laying everything at, at the cross and, and where, where, where it matters. Mm-hmm. And that just blessed me the last few, about a month back or so. Mm. That every day I just worship him when I can say I see Jesus. It brings a spirit of worship. Mm-hmm. Nothing else matters. Politics don't matter. Mm-hmm. Nothing else matters. What's going on in this world don't matter. When you mm-hmm. see Jesus, everything's in line and everything's in order mm-hmm. and everything's with him. Mm-hmm. And we don't have to set our world on the, uh, our, 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 our faith on this world, Mm-mm. but our faith is in Jesus. You know, so when, when glad, we, when, yeah. when, uh, well, let me finish this for a while. I'll, I'll, I'll lose yeah, my train yeah, of thought. Yeah, go ahead. When you're looking at that kind of stuff mm-hmm. and you realize that there's a real Jesus mm-hmm. and he, he, he carries our burdens. Mm. And he he provides our needs and he takes care of everything that we have. Whatever you're facing out there, someone's gonna be watching us on YouTube mm-hmm. or whatever their podcast you know on. Mm-hmm. It's not about us. I want you to listen to me. It's about Jesus. Mm-hmm. It's about seeing Jesus and what He is and who He is. And listen, I got my affections on Him. I'm trying my very best to say, love not this world. Neither things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the fathers not in him right. so i want to encourage people out there listen mm-hmm. try this when you pray look lift your eyes into the heavens from which your help comes from mm-hmm. your help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth you set your affections on jesus and look to jesus and i'll tell you what i have i've been having some of the best prayer time in my life 
because I started realizing, I said, well, I didn't learn this 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. I always was, I was born again. I was growing in the Lord. But sometimes some things come later in life for the purpose of what's going to come about in, 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 in society or in your mm -hmm. faith or what battles you're going to fight. And that's the thing I'm talking about tonight. No, no, not tonight. We're not talking about that. Right, but I right, just felt right. like I want to share that tonight because mm -hmm. it, how much it helped me. Okay? Right. And that's the principle. What we're going to talk about tonight about the resurrection. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's about Jesus. Mm -hmm. His death, his burial, his resurrection is about Jesus. It's where victory was won. Mm -hmm. Where sin was conquered. Where death died. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That man didn't have to face hell. Right. And right. now we know that through his death, mm -hmm. and through his b a resurrection, mm -hmm. we can have life. That's right. That's right. Amen. And you know, a lot of people, and I'm glad you brought that up, because when it comes to the cross and the resurrection, they actually go together. And, you know, it's, they're kind of like the Trinity, you know. You, you can't take them apart. Right, right. That's my whole point. And it's like the Trinity. They have three three different bodies but they're all yeah. one it's the same thing with the death and resurrection you see a lot of people when it comes to because this ties with salvation that's why i'm gonna mention yeah. that because a lot of people think that you believe in the death and the burial it's an a and a b plan salvation it's not it's all a well the thing you know? about it when jesus was yeah. on the cross mm -hmm. he said it, it is finished mm -hmm. right there would have never been no resurrection without the death of the cross right there wouldn't right. the price that jesus paid at calvary mm -hmm. so i personally believe that the, the death that jesus died on the cross is the is the forerunner for right. the resurrection you understand that's what I'm saying? a good point that's a good point it's it's, yeah. it's, it's setting up mm -hmm. the resurrection mm, that's a good when, point when men could come and see jesus mm -hmm. oh he's risen remember mary magdalene mm -hmm. and ran and she stole the disciples he he's alive mm -hmm. he's alive he's alive mm -hmm. and they didn't believe him Right, they right. believe her. I'm sorry, and and, and they, they went. They had to go look for themselves. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying. They had to see, like a lot of people. They got right. to see for themselves, right? And, and that's why I like to look at it. I look. I like to look at like there's a horse and a chariot. I like how like the cross is the horse, kind of speak, and then the resurrection is the right, chariot right. that pulls it. Right. So I don't know. If that's a good analogy or what? But well, I was yeah. kind of thinking about that. It's a forerunner. It's it's, it's one that's carrying behind it. Right. You know. And, you know, I heard, uh, I was reading on something on the Facebook the other day. He says, amazing, like, I think it was a woman. She was a Christian woman. And the reason I'm bringing this out because it's very powerful. She said that all the other people, I'm sorry, excuse me, I had something in my ear. <laughs> uh, she said that all the other religion leaders of the world, they're all dead. Muhammad's in his grave. Yeah. Buddha's in his grave. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, even the popes, they're all in there. Right. supposed to be Christ's recoordinator or whatever, and they're all in their right, graves. Right. But Jesus' tomb is empty. Right. So that tells you right there that Christ is the right. only one that could take away sins. You know, I heard a, 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 an ex-Catholic priest say this one time. He got, he got saved, but, uh, you know, he left the Catholic Church and got saved. He said something that still sticks with me today. He said... Christ is the only one, you know, there's a lot of people mm -hmm. say, well, there's a lot of Jesuses out there. There's a lot of gods out there, economicals and where Jesus is not the only way. And he debunks that. He said, there's, it said the reason why Jesus is the only way, because he's the only one that could take away the sins of the world. Right, right. No other religion in the world has a savior that takes away the sins of the world. Well, you know, most, most Christians mm -hmm. haven't grabbed that yet. Right. They haven't grabbed the point that their mm -hmm. life is sealed in Christ. Mm hmm it's not about it's not about a, being religious. It's not about saying, "Well, I'm a Christian." Well, I'm a Muslim. I'm a. It's about knowing that Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. I feel the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Knowing that He died on that cross mm -hmm. and He gave His life for us, mm -hmm. and He rose the third day. And you know what? I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the the resurrection itself. You know, a lot of people this Friday is going to be celebrating Good Friday. Resurrection. That's not scriptural, right? Right. You know, Jesus said. As I, uh, the, as the son of, uh, as Jonah was in the well, the belly days, three days, and three so shall the Son of Man mm -hmm. be yeah. in the earth yeah. three days and three nights. Wow! Uh, when you look at that, you start saying, "Wait a minute! Mm -hmm. If he if he died Friday evening, put right. in the grave, mm -hmm. he was one night, a whole day, and another night. Mm, right? But he said he was three days and three nights. Mm. Now, if you put in right perspective. He'd have died on Wednesday. 
Mm. About six o'clock in the evening. And if you time it back toward his resurrection on Sunday morning, sometimes after 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 uh midnight, you know. Right. He, when they came to they came to the tomb, he wasn't there. He had uh-huh. risen already. He was already gone. Right. Yeah. So we don't know exactly how you see a lot of people have uh these sunrise services. Well that's not scripture. That goes past the page. Because when they came yeah. Right. Well, it's just not that it's pagan mm-hmm. in, the, in, his, in his origins. It, when they came, he was gone already. Right, right. They, they came to the tomb, he was gone already. Mm-hmm. So he could have been risen many hours before. Right. So that whole process of, of, of sunrise service, Good Friday, mm-hmm. and I don't want to bust nobody's bubble. I honor his resurrection. Oh, yeah, we do. Mm-hmm. I, listen, people say, well, isn't Easter pagan? The word Easter might have been pagan, but the resurrection is not. No, it he is, did rise. Right, he did rise. Uh, he did die and rose about that time. Mm-hmm. You know, in the year. So if you study that, you find out. Listen, I honor his resurrection. Right, I honor his great. His, the great. He said, "I have power to lay down my life, and I have power to take it back up again." Right. How 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 great is this Jesus we're talking about? Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people, like, you go to churches and today and they got them still nailed to the cross. Right, right. They, they called in him as a great mind, a great prophet, uh, a great uh, uh, leader, a great speaker. Mm-hmm. He is God in the flesh. Mm-hmm. He's everything that God is what man was supposed to be. That's right. And res- resembling toward Christ. Mm-hmm. Adam fell. Jesus didn't. Right. He's the new Adam. Right. right. And the right. point is that when you look at Jesus, you see everything that man was supposed to be mm-hmm. we've, we've before he sinned. Mm-hmm. But right. he, the Bible says his name is Emmanuel. It means God's with God's us. with us. Let me, uh, let me read a few little things before we go too far. Yeah, go ahead. There was a discussion in the Corinthians church, and people got to the point where they were starting to not believe in the resurrection. Mm. And you know what? Paul put it like this, and I want to kind of read in uh, chapter 15, verse 1, where it says, More so, of a brother, and I declare to you the gospel which I preached to you, which also you received, and in it which ye stand. Now listen to this, and that's the key word, stand. Stand on what? Mm-hmm. What are you standing on? By which you also are saved. If you hold fast the words which I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. Now, what's, what's mm-hmm. the reason why? You see, a lot of people believed in Jesus, but they were starting to doubt the resurrection. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. They were getting to the point where they said, ah. You know, years had passed. The Corinthian church was established. They had these these uh, 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 false teachers going mm-hmm, around, mm-hmm. and you know, and you know what? If you take the resurrection away, you take the salvation. It's not that the resurrection is salvation. Right. The resurrection mm-hmm. is a testimony to the salvation that Jesus made per, uh, made uh, on the cross. Mm. The, the promise of eternal life for all men if they would receive it. Mm-hmm. And he goes on. And he says this. For I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins. Now watch, he said it like this. I delivered you first. Mm. First thing that I want you to know. This is the first thing I taught you. Mm. I feel it, man. That Christ died for our sins. That's the first thing. That's the first message. That your sins were paid for at the cross of mm-hmm. Christ. Mm-hmm. And he says, which also you received, that Christ died for our sins according to the, what? The scriptures. scriptures. Mm-hmm. You see, I say it a lot. If God's word says it, mm-hmm. that settles it. Settles it. Nothing never. changes. If it's according to the scriptures, mm-hmm. then that settles it. Mm-hmm. And that he was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Mm-hmm. And that he was seen. Now listen to this. Well, I just wanted, when we talked about what we was going to call this little sermon mm-hmm. or this little Bible study, I call it the testimony of Jesus' resurrection. Mm. Because, Lana, you got to understand something. People said, well, the disciples, what they done? They went and they stole the body. Yeah, that's what the Pharisees were trying right, to do. Right, and they stole the body mm-hmm. and they and then they, they went and hid it somewhere mm. and... And and it was going to tell people that he rose again. You have some scared disciples, mm-hmm. too scared to stick their head out of a door. They were hiding in a room somewhere, mm-hmm. 
so they couldn't be found. Right. right but yeah, right. they went and they got, and and then they 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 attacked the soldiers and defeated the soldiers. They had to get the soldiers out of the way, and they pushed that big old stone by themselves, mm-hmm. and they took Jesus out. Oh, the best the best one I I heard that so say I was listening. They had an atheist. He was saying that. Well, what happened was they they gave Christ some type of uh, medicine or something, and they knocked him out, and they thought he was dead. Yeah. And, and then when they and, put him in, when they put him in the grave, he he got out of there. He moved that stone. Yeah, he after being beaten, <laughs> uh, flesh all yeah, torn, yeah. blood all. A he's... smart a smart atheist said that. Yeah. Smart man said that. So yeah. Yeah, but the point is, Satan don't like it. No, he. Yeah. No, no. Well, the thing is that the the, the disciples. They saw him. Mm-hmm. He says here, and he rose again the third day, according to the scripture. I'm reading that again. And that he was seen by Cephas, mm-hmm. Peter. Then, excuse me, by the twelve, Peter and John ran to the, you remember when they ran to the, mm-hmm. the tomb? Right. They hadn't saw him then, okay? Right, right. But he appeared to Peter, because Peter, he was addressing Peter, because I know a lot of times people... Get on old Peter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I, yeah. I have, I have, a, uh, I have a, a, a theory, I want to call it. Mm-hmm. When Jesus and John, when Jesus was seen on the shore, mm-hmm. when he decided, as he, after he rose again, mm-hmm. Peter saw him. He said, it is the Lord. Mm-hmm. They were fishing. Mm-hmm. So he jumped in the water, mm-hmm. swam to Jesus. And Jesus had already had fish and, and stuff already prepared for them. And he turned around. And after the disciples came and they all sat around and they knew it was the Lord and they were encouraged and all that, Peter, uh, he looked at Peter, he said, Peter, do you love me? Mm-hmm. He said, Lord, you know I love you. Mm-hmm. He asked him a second time, Peter, do you love me? Mm-hmm. He said, Lord, you know I love you. Mm-hmm. He said, Peter, do you love me? Three times, because he denied him three times. Yeah. Because he denied him three times. He had he had made him confess three times that he loved him because his denial of him three times. Mm-hmm. People say, well, why do you see that? No, I just, in my spirit, I saw it. Right. It sounds similar. Yeah, well, the Peter, like had to, Peter was getting ready to preach about this resurrected Christ. The disciples, the first thing they did, they didn't preach the cross. Mm-mm. Nope. They went. They went preaching the resurrection. Right, right. Paul got the revelation of the cross. Yeah, he filled in the right. Gap. Yeah, Paul. But anyway, I want to go back to this one thing. He said he was seen by Cephas, mm-hmm. then by the twelve, and after that he was seen by over five hundred brethren. Wow! At one time they saw him. Mm-hmm. These people witness. Mm-hmm. The resurrected Christ, mm-hmm. the Christ that rose again. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you look at that. What did these people do? They all went to their house and they sat down and did nothing. No, they went preach this. Right, right. They were excited. They were preaching this. And, and you know, they fulfilled the law. Because in the Bible, like when a man, the reason why I'm bringing this up, because I think it's going to lead to this. Because in the Bible, if a man, if a Jewish man committed a crime, he had to have three or four witnesses. He had to have more than one right, witness. Right, right. So... But this is great because it was just not just one or two people right. that saw this. It was like 5,000 people. No, not five, uh, well, five, well, 500. 500, yeah. yeah. So other At the words, beginning. Right. So there was a lot of people who witnessed this. Right. And so, not only yeah. you watch it, and not only that, <laughs> yeah. the book of Matthew said some Old Testament saints came out of the ground. They, and, wrote, they, had, a they, resur- they had a resurrection mm-hmm. themselves. Right, right. And, you know, they, they were in the city, and, mm-hmm. and people saw them. Right, right. And, you know, look at that stuff. I said, man, I said, how powerful. And then on top of that, when Christ died, they had that veil that torn mm-hmm. on top. So they saw a lot of great things that it was obvious for them. Right. God, I mean, without a shadow of doubt, all the evidence we just pointed out here, mm-hmm. that through this death and burial, there was a lot of amazing right. things going on. So Christ was giving them no excuse. Like, I am the fulfilled one of prophecy. And if y'all don't believe me, right. it's just because y'all just don't want to believe. The evidence is all there that, without a shadow of doubt, well, I'm unique. Really, and from I it. Mm-hmm. the thing of when, the, uh, from the time of his death mm-hmm. till his resurrection, mm-hmm. I mean, before he rose. Yeah. Between his death and it was it was kind of quiet. Mm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. <coughs> Excuse me. It was kind of quiet because... Something was going on in, 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 in paradise. Oh yeah, Jesus mm-hmm. was going. He he died. He went to paradise. Mm-hmm. 
You see, people don't realize. Don't want to, there's no purgatory in the Bible. No, no. Paradise is a place where you see before the Old Testament, the, the Old Testament saints couldn't mm-hmm. get to heaven without the blood of Christ. Right. right. So they had to they had to go to a certain place beneath mm-hmm. the earth. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a it was a place of peace. Mm-hmm. But on the uh, they had a gulf fix between it. You remember the story of the mm-hmm. rich man mm-hmm. and Lazarus? I'm you know, how they were. Yeah. And he cried to Abraham. But anyway, I don't get in all that stuff. Yeah. They, Jesus had to go into paradise to, 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 to preach mm-hmm. to Jeremiah, David, Ezekiel, Moses, uh, David, Moses, all of those Old mm-hmm. Testament saints yeah. that had died in faith. And they had to receive Jesus Christ as their Savior. Yeah, the one that was coming. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. See, we, wait, we, we, we we looking back. But they, they were looking, looking forward. forward. Mm-hmm. So he went down there and he had a, a revival in, in, in paradise. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, Jesus took those saints with him to heaven. Right, right. The price was paid. The resurrection is a, is a testimony mm-hmm. to the power of God's forgiveness. I feel the presence of God. Mm-hmm. The power of his mercy at the cross. Mm-hmm. 2,000 years ago, when Jesus looked into God, he said, Lord, it, it is finished. Mm-hmm. I've, I paid the price. Men could come to you. Said a while ago that that old veil that separated mm-hmm. God and man was torn from the top to, to bottom. bottom. Mm-hmm. It symbolized that now man could go to God. A miracle. This resurrected Christ mm-hmm. is in glory, making intercession for us. See, we think we think uh, Easter or or the resurrection is just a celebration. Most most people don't understand what this resurrection was about. Right. What well, the testimony of Jesus' power, he said he he had the power to lay down his life and the power to rise it back up. Mm-hmm. And he gained victory over death and hell and, and he the grave. The and he took the keys of death away from the devil. Mm-hmm. That's that's where we are at right now. As Listen, today, in this dark world, mm-hmm. if we don't have faith in, his, in the cross and the faith in his resurrection... Mm-hmm. See, without you can't believe in the cross without the resurrection. Right. right. I'm gonna read you something. Well, yeah, let, go me, ahead. let me go ahead and look at something real quick. Uh, it says in verse 12, and I'm just gonna jump around a little bit. Now, if Christ is preached that he has, Christ is preached that he has been ri- raised from the dead. Mm-hmm. How do some of you say he didn't? Mm. Well, there's no resurrection. But if there's no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. Mm-mm. And he says, that, and if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is empty or vain. And your faith is also empty. Yes. And we are found false witnesses or liars of God because we testified of God that he raised Christ from the dead whom he did not raise. Huh? Mm-hmm. In fact, the dead do not rise if, if the if the dead do not rise mm-hmm. you see and he says for if the dead did not rise then Christ is not risen mm-hmm. if Christ is not risen your faith is futile or vain oh wow and you know what I, I got a scripture that's going to go with it uh, Romans chapter 10 verse 9 that if you if, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and thou shalt believe these things in heart that God has raised him from the dead, mm-hmm. thou shalt be saved. So watch. You're so, reading that. Mm-hmm. But if there's and, no faith in the resurrection, there's no salvation. Right. You get, right. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm glad we, I was going to ask you that question. I'm well, glad well Christians, that. Christians mm-hmm. say, well, I believe Jesus died. And that's happening here. Well, we don't, kinda, we don't believe in that raising from the dead business. Mm. I said, if you can't put your faith in the resurrection of Christ, and it's the cross is of none effect. You're yet in your sin. Right. If I'm telling you that Jesus rose and he didn't rise, if I go around telling you that uh, he died on the cross and he never rose, then my preaching is empty. That's right. That's right. You're right. See what I'm saying? You can't, you can't put... The, the cross without the resurrection. Neither one. They need to go together. But it says here, you mm. are still in your sins. Mm. Then also those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If in this life only we have hope. Mm-hmm. And this, this, this is an important part, okay? Mm-hmm. In Christ, we are all men most miserable or pitiful. 
Mm. If we only have hope in Christ in this mm. life, mm-hmm. if we only believe in Jesus in this life, mm-hmm. and not carry that life beyond right. death, right? Then we we, we use it's, it's 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 pitiful. We don't have no hope. There's no hope. Listen, right. I can talk about Jesus all I want, son. Listen mm-hmm. to me. Mm-hmm. I can talk about him coming back. I can talk about the prophecies. I can talk about all mm-hmm. of that. Mm-hmm. But I, if I don't believe in his resurrection, that's right, or his death. He wrote and listen, it's 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 it's, it's, it's mm-hmm. we're in our sin. If that's I can't right. believe that Christ Christ rose from the dead, that's the thing that people people sometimes the devil mm-hmm. has stopped people there. And that's what he was yes. doing with this Corinthian church. He stopped them at the resurrection. Ah, See, mm-hmm. they knew Jesus died. They knew Jesus was uh, crucified. Mm-hmm. They knew that he went, he was in a tomb. Now, when they started testifying, Paul had this message. Like I said at the beginning, mm-hmm. the disciples, that's all they knew. All right, right. They, they knew didn't the, get rest- all the full revelation right. of everything. Right. And Paul comes, he says, I know nothing but Jesus Christ. And him crucified. Right. He said, I don't want to know nothing among you but mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. He said, I didn't come to baptize. But to preach the gospel. You know. So I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Unless Christ. the cross of Christ be a none effect or in vain. Right. And so right. we're learning this stuff every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, how important is the resurrection? The resurrection is it's a very testimony important. of the, what happened at Calvary. Now, and I'll, most people yeah. want to listen to me and say, mm-hmm. well, Brother Lenny, I'm good with you know, going to church and I'm good at singing the songs, but don't give me all that raising from the dead business and, and Jesus. Right. So what is Jesus? How is Jesus any different from anybody else? I'm going to tell you how he's different. Mm-hmm. He said, I am the way, the, the truth, truth, and the life. life. People say, well, you think you you have the only way? Yes, I have the only way. Yeah. People yeah. get mad at me. They're going to listen to this program. They might send you all some letters. But listen, yeah. it's the truth. Jesus said there is no other way. Because he's the only one that could take away the sins of right. the world. The only you know, Savior can do it. When I was listening to... Uh, mm-hmm. Some people talk about Jesus. Well, one lady said, and I'm not going to bring her name up. Well, know. yeah, I know you're talking about. Go but ahead, anyway, though. she gets yeah. up there and she says, is there, you You say Jesus is the only way. But they might have a different well, path. Yeah, different well, yeah, life. well, that's mm-hmm. right. And they said, well, this mm-hmm. person might have a different, you know, way opinion of, about God mm-hmm, and Jesus. Mm-hmm. And, it, and, and we have all these ways that can lead to the one God. No. No. Jesus, the, the Father made it very clear that... I, I, my son is the only way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus mm-hmm. Christ, you go there and believe in your heart that God will raise him that you shall be saved. Without that confession, mm-hmm. you're not confessing Buddha, you're not confessing Mary, you're not confessing mm-hmm. Muhammad, you're not confessing all these other other false gods. Right. You're confessing the only true God, and that's Jesus Christ and him crucified and, and risen from the dead. When I gave my life to Jesus, I said a little prayer. Mm-hmm. I said, Lord, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. And I believe that you rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. No, that was the the prayer. And most people say, well, that ain't scripture. I can show you it's scripture. You quoted it it a while ago. You confess with your mouth. And believe believe with your heart that God rose from the dead. And you shall be saved. There has to be a testimony out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. See, these people didn't get this. this, uh, this, When Jesus appeared to them and and just said, well, we're just going to not say nothing. Mm-hmm. They had a testimony. You understand what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They had a testimony that he was risen. Mm-hmm. Easter, and I don't want to call it Easter, but the Bible mentions it one time in the book of Acts. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to take it out of here. <laughs> right, right. It's in there. You know, I, I personally, we have a different opinion maybe about what Easter symbolized. I believe it was the Passover. Not just me, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I believe the Passover was the incident when Moses led the children of Israel mm-hmm. and, and, and he talked about you know, putting the door, blood on the doorpost, the mm-hmm. angel of death will pass you by. That was a symbolic mm-hmm. of what was going to happen at the cross. Right. See, right. and that's why we celebrate this resurrection Sunday. Mm-hmm. Everybody that's listening to me now, remember, it's about what Jesus did. It's not mm-hmm. about getting together and having a party and barbecues and balling crawfish and, and all that other stuff. It's not mm-hmm. about getting the family together. Listen, when it comes to Thanksgiving, I have to bring it up a lot of times. So this is about thanking God for right. all the When it comes to, to uh, the resurrection, mm-hmm. I got to do the very same thing. It's not about celebrating uh, people and, 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 and right. family. And that's all good stuff. I'm not against that. Mm-hmm. I'm against this. If Jesus is not the reason for the resurrection Sunday, if it's just another holiday we support or That's another right. follow, then we, we we missed it. Right, right. This Sunday, I I plan 
in my own walk with God, and, and I want to wake up mm-hmm. this Sunday morning and say, God, I thank you that you rose again. Mm-hmm. I thank you that you died for my sins, Lord Jesus. Mm-hmm. And that's the whole principle. When you get into the point like they're happening in this Corinthian story, this Corinthians book, Corinthian book right here, mm-hmm. that the argument was that G, he didn't rise again. Oh wow! Right. That was the whole thing that people going around saying that if he didn't, we, we, we're wasting our time. Let us go. We mm-hmm. had in our sin. Let's go continue living like we want. Right. right. If Jesus didn't rise again, we should shut down this pot. This and, this, sh- and shut every marital. Shut church. every church down. Shut yeah. it, every no. Listen, it wouldn't pay. It, it, yeah. it, we're, we're wasting our time. We should be living our lives to the fullest and pleasures and mm-hmm. and everything else. If Jesus didn't rise again, we're we're just making ourselves miserable. You know, I want to I want to talk about something that you caught my attention earlier. You know, I, I was thinking about that earlier, and it's gonna go with it. You know, us Christians, we have hope. You know, a lot of you see the world, the world's worldview. Is that, hey, we're going to party tomorrow. We're going to live today, live for yeah. now, mm-hmm. enjoy it now. And then cause we're going to die and go to the earth. You know, we're going to cease to exist. And that's their whole world. They're almost like Jehovah's Witness. That's the whole world. But as Christians, we have hope. We have hope in his death. We have hope in his resurrection. And we have hope that we're going to be risen again in resurrection. See, a lot of people don't realize that yes, Jesus rose. But just like Jesus rose from the dead, we will be raised from the dead because the rapture rapture is a symbol of the resurrection right, of Christ. Right. So we're going to be resurrected. Right, that's well, that's what happened with uh, that's what mm-hmm. happened with Martha mm-hmm. and Mary. Mm-hmm. Remember when, mm-hmm. when Lazarus had died? Right, I remember the And story. when he said yeah. he said, "Lord, he said if you'd have been here, my brother would have not died." Mm, and Jesus he, said, and Jesus mm-hmm. said, "Believe not that I I am he." And he says he he'll, he'll, he'll rise again. He said, she said, "I know he'll he'll, he'll rise again with you in the last day." Mm. He said, "I am the resurrection, resurrection and the life and the life. I am." He didn't say his mother. He didn't say any any of the disciples. He didn't mm-hmm. say nobody else. I am mm-hmm. the resurrection. You know, you were talking a minute ago, and I was just kind of picturing a little bit. Mm-hmm. You notice the, the 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 subject of the cross. And I told people that like, when when we, we you can go to. Uh, a bookstore, you can watch pictures of soul. Mm-hmm. You always have, a lot of people have the cross with a light in the back of it. Like it's a oh, like it's beautiful, yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was an ugly thing. Yeah, it was. It was, a, it, it was, a, it was, it, he, he was, he was bleeding on a, 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 a piece of wood. It was a torture it, chamber. It, 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 it was a, it was a judgment. Mm-hmm. It was judgment. Jesus was taking our judgment. Mm-hmm. Upon see, himself. Our judgment. But you see, when he rose again, he was freed from the pains of death. Mm-hmm. And everything that he did at the cross was lit, it lighted up because now the power mm-hmm. was evident mm-hmm. that he is the risen king. That's right. I was sharing with a man one day, and I was was talking to him. He was at a funeral home, and I was talking to him about the Lord. Mm, I right. said, "Do you know that Jesus died for your sins? Mm-hmm. Do you know that he ripped they ripped the flesh off of his back?" You kind of gave him they, a picture yeah, in his well, mind. They, mm-hmm. they placed thorns upon his and they nailed him to an old cross. Mm-hmm. He had to carry that that wooden beam on his back after his back his flesh was wide open, and and, was, and, 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 and 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 the wood and the and the, and, the, and and was rubbing back and forth on that open flesh, and, and it was going inside and his right skin, and, and yeah, sinking and, in. And, there, and you know yeah. what? He he looked at me, and his eyes was was big like that. He never saw it like that before. He said he got a picture. Mm-hmm. Of yeah. what the Lord had done for him. You yeah. see, he went to religious classes and he went to to churches that had him on the wall. You see, they they have him still nailed up there. Oh yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're right. But now he's not on that cross anymore. He's done. He's finished. He is risen from the dead. The, the, this Sunday we're going to celebrate that resurrection mm-hmm. as the power of God manifested in Christ. Mm-hmm. There's nothing that could hold Jesus down. Death right. couldn't hold him. The right. grave couldn't hold him. You know, like the demons tremble at that name now because, you know, they can't stand. Satan can't stand the sight mm-hmm. of a resurrected Christ. And you know what? He defeated death. Did you know in the book of Revelations? One of the four horsemen, one of the horsemen is called death, and that death will be defeated. He's defeated. Mm-hmm. That resurrection, son, is, 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 mm-hmm. uh, is sealed. The, the, the future of man. Mm-hmm. You know, and the cross is the penalty for sin. Mm-hmm. The resurrection is the testimony of the power of God's forgiveness and mercy. Mm-hmm. See, Jesus would have stayed in the grave. He'd mm-hmm. have just been like any other old prophet. 
That's right. He'd have been like any old other religion, mm -hmm. but he was not in the grave anymore. He's That's alive. Right. And he's, right. he's sitting on the right hand of God the Father, and he makes intercession. That's where society is one. That's where souls are one. Mm -hmm. It's one at the cross. It's one at the foot of Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's one, like I said, and, uh, uh, salvation. You can't have salvation if you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't believe in the resurrection. That's right. I agree. Right. Because... Mm -hmm. Many people in this, like I said, in this Corinthians church, some of them will be lied to. That's right. Satan was trying to deceive right. them. He knew that Satan knows that if he can defeat the mind of man and kick the resurrection out of their heart, mm -hmm. he got he, he's won. Even though they believe Jesus died on the cross. That's right. That's right. Yeah. See, you can't, you, if you don't believe he rose, then it's, you, you yet in your it's sin. In yeah, it's in vain. But um, Well, one of the things the devil will do Two things I learned by studying cults and religions that Satan would do. Two things. He can he could try to destroy the message itself or what he does. And I find this is clever on the Satan's part. Not giving credit to the devil, but he is smart when it comes to that area for sure. He adds to the truth. Like, for example, the death and burial. He tells people, like, for example, I was reading the catechism one time. In the catechism, they teach, oh, Jesus died for your sins. Jesus rose on the third day. They even have apostles of creed. Where they talk about that I believe in God the Father. I believe Jesus died and rose again the third day. But then if you look, like not at the Apostles' Creed, but when you look at the other things, they say, okay, yeah, but these, you know, the death and burial is great. But you also need baptism. You also yeah, need you the Lord's own, Supper. Yeah. And so that's the thing the devil does. He What he, what he does is he kills it. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like yeah. he adds poison to something that is true he what he does he makes the cross of christ and the resurrection not effect mm -hmm. that's what that's why i'm so strong when it comes to roman catholicism and other religions most when they say well baptisms your salvation or mm -hmm. the scapular is going to get you to heaven or the lord's supper you're adding to anything salvation. to take away from what what the what the cross and, they are cross doing and resurrection that. Yeah. but you know a lot of that what it is son mm -hmm. it's about see satan doesn't want you to believe that's why he does that, right? See right. the the thing about mm -hmm. see you can take if you take away the the, the, the resurrection, mm -hmm. you take away the victory. You get yeah. what I'm saying? He, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's that's why he does. You that. You see, he mm -hmm. wants people. Listen, I know a lot of religious people, and I can talk to them down blue in my their face. They have no perspective of what Jesus did and and and, and his at the cross and at his resurrection. Mm -hmm. They have no clue. They say, "Well, I'm a this and I'm a that." Well, why you believe like that? They can't even tell you why they believe. They just mm -hmm. well, my religion says yeah, so. Yeah, my religion mm -hmm. says so. Or the uh, the mom. Ma mom and daddy told me so. Oh, yeah, yeah and, but yeah. never, mm -hmm. never sitting down and thinking for one minute. Mm -hmm. I heard about Jesus dying and him rose and again from dead. What does that all mean? Mm -hmm. You know, you listen when you start doing that stuff and start. Uh, I want to say dissecting it, but. Putting it in your mind, asking those questions, you can mm -hmm. wonder where, well, what does it mean to be a Christian? What mm -hmm. does it mean to be mm -hmm. forgiven? Mm -hmm. What does it mean about Jesus rising from the dead? How is that play? How can a man that died on the cross two thousand years ago have anything to do with me? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna shock some of you here. If you don't have the the faith in the death and burial and resurrection in your life. Mm -hmm. In your heart, you're in your still yet in your sin, and you're going to hell. And that's and what I'm gonna tell you what. Listen, this this is the point. Mm -hmm. If if you would say, well, I go to this church and I sing, I, I go to this church and we <laughs> we sing and we have fun and we have pizza Good nights mm -hmm. and moving. You can put that all outside of it. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of people in church mm. that are that, that are not gonna make it, right? Because they're there for one reason, hoping they can escape hell just by thinking that they, 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 can, they can go to church and that God is pleased with that. If you don't believe, listen, I believe in the power of the, the cross, the power of the resurrection of Christ, and that's my faith. Mm -hmm. It's not in a man. It's not in a, in a denomination. It's not in a person, a priest, a, a preacher. It's in what Jesus did 2,000 years ago. That's the only thing you need. Mm-hmm. And to get to heaven. That's right. 
That's right. And you know, a lot of people say, well, man, he, he's going to mess up some of Listen, ba- what about water baptism? Water baptism is wonderful. But water, just dumping water on people, it's not going to wash no. a man's heart. No, no. It's just a symbol of the right. death and well, that's, I, We were talking about, we met a young preacher like that one time. Mm-hmm. He said, I remember. And, man, he told, uh, he, and I said, I believe the cross is enough. He said, I, no, I, I don't believe it's enough. Yeah, he said that. I remember I was there. And yeah. the point about that is that, well, what is your faith in? Right, right. Faith, the, the, the very the very act of baptism is the symbolic of the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus. You got to go back to that cross. Mm-hmm. You got to go back to that resurrection. I don't I don't care how many times you dunk somebody under the water. If that's what you're doing, if mm-hmm. you're just saying, "Well, I'm washing their sins away," you're not doing it. Right, and they're putting their faith in that. Yeah, that's in trouble. You got to have good. faith in the power of the cross and the resurrection. The point is this. Mm. Where is your faith today? Mm-hmm. People say, well, I, I, I heard that word faith a lot. You know, What is faith is? Mm-hmm. Faith is in complete trust in what God said in his word mm-hmm. and what Jesus did on the cross mm-hmm. and in the resurrection. Why did the disciples, when they were, Peter went and on the first day of Pentecost, he preached Jesus Christ risen from the dead. He right. preached Jesus Christ because he said, he said, unless you be baptized for the remission of your sins. You mean that word for means because of the remission of your mm-hmm. sins. That's right. You shall receive tense. the Holy Ghost. And then the whole point is that they went out preaching the resurrection. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that was good. Right. Because but, I believe in my heart they led people to repentance. Sure, sure. But right. without understanding, they had to go through the the death of the cross first, mm-hmm. even though they didn't, I don't know if they had an understanding or God kept it for them till Paul came around and there was a revelation right. that Paul had. But Paul said, "There's, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ is the power of God on the side. What is the gospel of Christ? The, Christ, the gospel of Christ is mm-hmm. the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus. That's right. That's the gospel. You preach everything around the gospel. When you talk about prophecy, mm-hmm. you got to go back to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Everything uh, death on the cross. Right? Everything we say and do has to point back to the to the death of Jesus and what He did is, uh, on the cross and the resurrection. Listen, I I, I I I sound like a broken record tonight. Maybe maybe not, but unless your trust mm-hmm. is in that one incident mm-hmm. two thousand years ago, that that incident changed humanity. It, oh, yeah. it, it opened it sure a door. Did. It opened a door for men to be saved. Mm. Men could not be saved before that. They right. couldn't go to heaven. They couldn't make it mm-hmm. without the death of Jesus on right. the cross and his resurrection. That's how powerful that is. Mm-hmm. We, we, we take it lightly. Mm. Mm. We do. Yeah, we do. He, you know, when we come down to this Sunday honoring his resurrection, mm-hmm. we better remember that it's just not a day that we need to dye eggs and Easter bunnies and little baskets and, and stuff. And I don't want to get in all that stuff. Okay. That's I, maybe the Lord's keeping us from that right now, mm-hmm. but it's about Jesus dying on the cross. We go to church Sunday morning. We ought to sing about his resurrection. Come on. Mm-hmm. When we, when we get up Sunday morning, we ought to lift our hands up to the heavens and say, Lord, I thank you for rising from the dead. I thank you for giving a testimony of your great power. And that's what it's about. My faith is not in what men say. That's not right. in the wisdom of uh, men's words. Right. But in the power and demonstration mm-hmm. of the Holy Ghost, which testifies of the power of Jesus on the cross and his resurrection. That's what the Holy Spirit is. The Holy Spirit is not going to talk about things that don't relate to Christ. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Right. Everything relates to Christ. Mm-hmm. You know, I was thinking the other day, son, and I was just all the way in the beginning. God said, let there be light. Mm-hmm. I said, man, you know, the Bible said, let there be light. The earth was without darkness and void. Mm-hmm. You know, you read that in the beginning of Genesis. Mm-hmm. I said, you know, without Jesus, you're, you're just darkness. Mm-hmm. Without Jesus, your life is void. Right. right. It has no, oh, man, I feel it. It has no reason, no purpose no hope. Mm, mm. And I said to myself, I said, man, what a powerful verse. God said, and let there be light. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was the light. Well, I thought about that. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. I said, the the sun and the moon weren't made to the fourth day. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. He was the light. Yeah. And I said, where there is darkness, mm -hmm. Jesus brings the light. Mm -hmm. I said, what a great salvation message. Right in the beginning of the Bible. And we just read it. We mm -hmm. read over it and don't even see it. I mean, that, that actually, when he said, let there be light, his uh, actual light actually came from him. And uh, actually the glory, the fear, all, the glory, mm -hmm. the glory of Christ, the glory yep. of the Father. Made the planets. And well, everything. the thing is that, yep. but the, the light was mm -hmm. the light was there before there was a, a grass on the ground. Before there was a <laughs> when sun. Was, when there was a, before there was a sun or oceans or fish or trees. Or, mm -hmm. You know, and I said, Lord, mm -hmm. without Jesus... A life is dark and void. Mm, mm. Without the light of the of Christ mm -hmm. in our lives, the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus, mm -hmm. we're we're darkness. There's just darkness in our lives. And I said, Lord, I said, how real is that? How real is that revelation that we need to see Jesus? We need to see the light. Mm. We need to see the hope. Mm -hmm. When He rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. Hope came. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When he rose from the dead, life came. Light came. Wow. wow. Salvation wow. came. Peace came. Hope came. Men, men don't have to die and go to hell. I said that earlier, but man, it's so true. I grew, mm -hmm. Unless we learn that, mm -hmm. we'll never enjoy. You know, I'll, I'm glad you mentioned that because I'm working on part two of my story right now. And one of the parts I have is that these these people came to the city or town and they were worshiping false gods and they and, and Joshua actually destroyed them with fire and stuff like that and they were like why you destroy them with fire he says i didn't destroy them the demonic spirits that they worship destroyed them so yeah. i offer them in the book i show that there was a cross in the tomb right. and he said they had a way out they could have choose the cross in the tomb they could have choose my way of salvation because cause they allow they, they surrender themselves to demonic powers. I had to take well, my hand away to defend them, you know. And you know, Boog, you're saying that. Yeah. There are things that were said to me. Yeah. My dear brother Mike. Mm -hmm. He told me something. I remember I was coming in the church, the same church mm -hmm. we're passing right now. Mm -hmm. Right. I walked through the door. And he told me this. He said, Lenny, mm -hmm. don't ever preach without a way out. That's right. A lot of doing that. Mm -hmm. But don't ever preach Mm -hmm. See, if you, you can preach about sin, mm -hmm. if you die without Christ, mm -hmm. but if you don't preach the, a way out, mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That cross and that resurrection is the way out. Yep, it's your, when yep. Jesus died, rose again, mm -hmm. hope came. Yep, life came into the world again. Yeah, when he rose again, mm -hmm. faith came. It, it was kind of like a desert. And all of a right. sudden, it came a Well, garden. it's like, yeah, I'm going to yeah. tell you right now, the Jewish religion, mm -hmm. they had gotten to the point where it was just men's customs. It was just religion duties. It was just that yeah. uh, we're going to add this to our, our law. And Jesus had rebuked him. He said, you did not the commandment of God to keep your own traditions. Mm -hmm. God commanded the first two things, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. That was the basic root of, of worship, mm -hmm. of honoring man. Right. And when you go back to what the Bible teaches, men have taken their own laws mm -hmm. and they have deadened the effect of the resurrection. They heard it. Because they, they came in there and they were, they were bringing in new laws like washing the pots and then washing the hands. But it was for salvation. Right. Well, the thing is that, and, 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 and if you didn't do that, mm -hmm. you, were, you, you was a, a demon. Oh, yeah. you, you, you you didn't know you God. <laughs> Watch. Yeah. And it's why I look at a lot of people today. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't dress like us. Or you don't talk, or you don't like, talk us. like us. Or look like us. Or talk in tongues like us. And I'm not against talking in tongues. Or living it. right. Uh, or right. If you don't, if you don't uh, say the same words. We, it's almost like it's a pattern that man has made a law. That mm. that, that people to, to look like man. Not, not like God. Right, right. We got to point him to God. Not we got to point him. Listen, I, I I had a testimony a while back when I well, was a few years back. I saw a man that came into the church, and man, he looked like he just crawled on a rock. Mm. I mean, he he was bad off. Mm -hmm. he, he, you know, and and I said, and you know, you get that self righteous. What is he? And the Lord reminded me, son, that's what I came for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what my. That's what I died for. That's wow. what grace is for. Mm -hmm. 
is that I came that that man could be saved. What he said, what he's, he's I felt him telling me that. What do you think he's gonna smell like? Mm-hmm. The world. Mm-hmm. What are you gonna think he's gonna smell the alcohol, the nicotine? What do you think he's gonna smell like? Mm. He needs me. Mm-hmm. And Lord, I felt this book by this this mm-hmm. Lord. I said, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm, see, we we get so caught up in our religious lives. Mm-hmm. We start judging people based on what we think they ought to be like. We, ju- we judge them according to our. And I'm standards. not against. Listen, people say, "Well, you, they got to know they're in sin. Right. They got to know that they're separated from God, and you got to make a, you got to present a way out right. that they can find life. That's our job is mm-hmm. to preach Jesus, mm-hmm. be missionary, and, and to preach the uh, the death on the cross and preach a risen Christ. When the Corinthians were asking these questions and started doubting this, they were losing it. They were losing the foundation that they had. Mm, wow, and Paul made wow. it very clear. If Christ never rose. Your faith is in vain. And you're yet in your sin. Mm-hmm. That's right. I'll be honest with you. You ask, ask most Christians. Right. What do you believe about the resurrection? Mm-hmm. Is, it just, is it, well, it was, it's, it's a historical event. Yeah, it's just something that happened in the Bible. Jesus died you know. and rose again. But never understanding that their whole faith has to be in that, that incident. Wow, wow. In the death and burying resurrection of Jesus. Because I'm glad you mentioned that. Because, like, take example, like a word of faith, the word of faith people. I was hearing Brother Swagger talk about that the other day. And he's right. He said, they said, well, we, want a, we don't believe in that cross stuff. We just want a resurrection life. And like Brother Swagger said, and some other people told him, says, yes, we believe that in a resurrection life, but you have to have the cross with it. So a lot of these word of faith people, for example, that's their whole thing is just on the resurrection. It's right. just like, I, you know, this cross stuff, you know, Christ was the, like, the biggest failure to even admit that. Yeah. Biggest failure was when Christ was on the cross. That was well, the biggest failure. Well, you know what I'm going to tell you, them. son? Those yeah. people that say that mm-hmm. are yeah. in trouble with God. Oh, yeah. Right. You, when you call uh, God the biggest failure in the Bible. Yeah, because of the cross. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something. Sad. The, yeah. These people never get born again. I'm, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm not going to be uh, apologize for that. No. You cannot. Mm-hmm. Make a mockery mm-hmm. of the cross of Christ That's and right. expect God to let it pass. He's not gonna. Nope, nope. He's not gonna take. He's that. not gonna let it Mm-mm. because His Son died. Mm-hmm. His Son, He loved. Right. His most precious possession mm-hmm. in the universe. Right. Was dying on an old wooden beam. I had the old tree, like Peter said. That yeah. old the tree was a curse. Mm-hmm. Cursing is every man man hanging, hanging on a tree. tree. <laughs> and he was taking that for right. us. Right, right. It gets me so angry when these big mob preachers get up there and say, I am I am God. I am. No, he ain't. Nope. Nobody is but Jesus. Nope. Jesus nope. is the only begotten of the Father. That's right. We're adopted. He, he created us. Mm-hmm. But we, we, if we, were his, we was not his children because mm-hmm. we were the children of the devil. Mm-hmm. Till we learned about the resurrection, about the, we learned about the cross, mm-hmm. the hope. We had no right to God's kingdom. And I'm going to preach that. Mm-hmm. Listen, when you get up, like I said, Sunday morning, and you start thinking about the resurrection, mm-hmm. you would have had no hope. Paul said, We're, you, you don't believe in that resurrection. You're yet in your sin. You, yeah. you're gonna, you, you, you have no hope. That's right. That's right. And when we look at that and I said, man, mm-hmm. where has the church been? Mm-hmm. If, you, if you listen to these kind of preachers, not, not you, but anybody yeah, listening. Yeah, to anybody, them, yeah. Turn them off. Don't send them a nickel. Mm-hmm. Right. Find a Bible believing church that pre- still preaches the death and resurrection, the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. the most important event in history mm-hmm. that man can find God. And you better make sure that a church preaches that and that alone, and not adding something to it. Because a lot of like a lot of this weekend, there could be a lot of churches and a lot of denominations recognizing. The, uh, the death and burial in a well, way. When I but became, well, the thing is they're adding, they're adding on to it, and you can't do that. You when know? I became a pastor in Coral Homes, mm-hmm. I remember the Lord spoke to my heart. He said, son, you preach one way. Mm-hmm. You preach the blood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a bloody preacher. Yeah, without I the, don't care who mocks it, who says, well, we don't, we don't want to go back to that bloody religion. You better go back. It was and you better, you, better, you better see... <laughs> the price that he paid for your miserable life like, and my miserable life. Right. Till we get a view of that, listen, you can be, you can have, join 50 religions. Mm-hmm. You're dead yet in your sin. 
It could be the resurrection. I believe in resurrection. It could be brushing the blood under the rug. It could be brushing the uh, brushing. The, the, the commitment of the cross under the rug. Mm-hmm. It could be anything. When you start making yourself God, you need you need to get back mm-hmm. and repent. That's right. Because you're a blasphemer. You're, yes. m- you're mocking the very power mm-hmm. and the very greatest event that ever took place on this planet. Wow. Yeah. That Jesus died and he rose again. Mm-hmm. Amen. Praise God. I can preach all Oh, that. I know. <laughs> and, and this is the thing, like, people got to realize, you know, Satan is very clever, like, trying to get people's eye of the ball kind of speaking or eye of the target you know the other day we went at a, a shooting range at work friday and uh, i did okay better than i thought i did i mean i didn't shoot the wall so i shot the target but but you know but in a way you can learn even that from a spiritual point of view satan likes you on the target and you're shooting but satan likes to get you off the target he likes to get you off your aim you know, and so that's what people got to realize when we talk about the death and burial resurrection. That is where the power lies is there. And Satan, if Satan can get you off of that target, right, you right. know, he has you, like you said earlier. And that's what people got to realize about the devil. He will send a lot of false religions your way. He will send multitudes of religions. You know, we watching Dr. Well, you, Mar- yeah, go yeah ahead, we watching Dr. Mary the other day. They were talking about different denominations. And I think the devil did that on purpose. He's trying to put so many different Bible translations out there. So many religions where people are like, which one's the truth? Like, w- there's so many. I heard a lot of them telling them, but book, there's so many. Yeah. Which one is the right religion? Well, you said it you, you know? said a while ago. Yeah. When you were shooting that target, there was a red dot in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, you could you put Jesus. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, you write his name. Right, right. Then on the outside of that dot, you write uh, baptism or Lord's Supper <laughs> mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. being a such in this mm-hmm, church. I'm mm-hmm. a Catholic. I'm a Baptist. I'm a Methodist. I'm whatever. And you put all of those targets around. You know how e- much easier it is to hit the outside of the target? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's easier than you think. Yeah. Right. No, you, when I shoot it, mm-hmm. it's harder to hit the bullseye. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. I, I can throw them dog. I can hit it anywhere. Listen, religion will offer you a broad and wide way. On many ways, yeah. But straight is, is the, the way, way that leads to Christ. And few that find it. Yep. Right. It's When you hit the target, you win the game. Right. Right. That, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. And see, a lot of people are not hitting that well, target. Well, that, that's the point. Mm-hmm. It, that, that target is Christ and Him crucified mm-hmm. and the resurrection from the dead. Mm-hmm. Rising up to be a, to, to be the Lord and King of our lives, mm-hmm. that is the target. It's not you. You don't want to hit the white sides or, or you know the, the little lines mm-hmm. with the mm-hmm. white. You know what I'm saying? But the target is the way you're shooting. Right, right. When you put that put that that dart on that red dot, mm-hmm. you can't get no better than that. That's right. You hit the bullseye. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. But mm-hmm. most Christians rather oh if I could just hit. The other side, right? The, yeah. I can I can just hit baptism, or I can just hit the, the Lord's, Lord's Supper. Supper. Or if I can just hit, mm-hmm. you know, what this one believes and that one believes, uh-huh. and a quote from these other people. You know, it's almost like we're trying to build our faith in a lot of places and churches on what a man says, and not what the Word says. We, yeah, the bullseye is where Jesus is, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and and it takes some aiming. Yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta concentrate. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just like what happened. I didn't with, play. I didn't play darts already. Right, right. I, and listen, it, 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 I never had more fun when I hit the, the dot. Right. <laughs> well, well, this is what the devil does too. It's kind of like when Jesus, when Jesus was walking on the water, and Peter said, "Lord, if it's you, bid me to come to you." And he said, "Come," and he started walking. When Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, he was doing great. He was doing yeah, like exactly. Jesus. Exactly. He was walking on the water until he got distracted. The storms mm-hmm. came, yeah. and he got distracted. And he started sinking. So a lot of, and of course, Jesus picked him up, had mercy on him. But the thing is, a lot of people's like that. They, uh, when it comes to salvation, the death and burial, they're focusing, they're, they're right. And then the next thing, Satan tries to take them away right, from right, him and right. distract them with other adding salvations. You know, right. one thing we should never do, and the Bible actually condemns that, you should never add to the word of God. You should never no, add sir. to the word. Mm-hmm. And you should never add to the cross and the death of the resurrection of Christ. You should well, never. It's not a right. plus. It's not a plus religion. We don't have plus one, well, plus two. Well, let me tell you. Plus Jesus, 12, you know? Jesus is yeah. it's a bullseye. Minus. Right, right. Yeah. Jesus is, listen, yeah. listen. I, you remember I preached yesterday. I was talking uh-huh. about 
running the race. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of pe athlete, athletes, they get out there mm -hmm. and they go through all kind of strenuous exercise and they, mm -hmm. they build their bodies up for months and months and months and they go and, mm -hmm. they, and they go to the gym and they, 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 neglect, they, they, they don't eat the wrong food and, they, and they, they, they sacrifice so much to do what? Mm -hmm. To win a corrupt crown. Right. But Pastor Paul said he suffered from right. the great crown. Well, right? that's the point. The mm -hmm. crown that we're striving for. Mm -hmm. Listen, this is not going to be easy, son. Mm -mm. People think, well, I could just come to Jesus and everything will get the, everything will be just fine. It's going to take, you're going to have to fight mm -hmm. to get that dart on that dot. Oh, yeah. And oh, that yeah. goes on. You're going to have to, you, listen, it's going to take some, listen, if I, if I want more fellowship with God, Right. I'm going to have to do more sacrificing right. and submit my body mm -hmm. to the obedience of the Lord. Well, I'm, it's mm -hmm. not about, people say, well, you just talk, listen, it's about surrender. It's right. about denying self. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't get in fellowship with God if you're a liar. Come on, Holy right, Ghost. Right. You can't get in fellowship with God if you're an adulterer. Mm -hmm. Or fornicator, homosexual, or anything that defies God. Mm -hmm. If you refuse to get those things out of your life, you can forget about ever fellowshipping with this That's one right. Christ. That's right. This Christ, the cross, the uh, the resurrection. Mm -hmm. Because sin is not welcome mm -hmm. in that dot, in that bullseye. Wow. Sin is not welcome. Sin can have no fellowship with God. I find myself a lot of times, we, we all grow and, and denying the flesh. I find my own self sometimes. Things I think sometimes ain't right. I, I can't have that. Mm -hmm. Right. And right. it's not about people say, well, are oh, you just trying to put us in bondage? No, I'm not. Right. Because right. this is a holy God. Mm -hmm. And he demands holiness. That's right. You see, we and, live in an age where a lot of people, they want uh, everything for free. Or they want everything given to them, right. and and that's the same thing. Like Christianity, a lot of Christians they they don't want to strive for that crown. They just they want to go to church. They just want to, right, right. you know, they just want to, you know, they want an easy Christianity. Right. They want to they want a popular Christianity, and nothing that's hard, nothing that's that's right. gonna demand sacrifice. Well, you think that Jesus, what mm -hmm. Jesus did, mm -hmm. wasn't a great sacrifice, right? And if he did, we're not expect us to do it. Well, know, the thing is that when I got saved, mm -hmm. the only thing I knew mm -hmm. was I was saved because mm -hmm. of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got this, this cross-minded in my heart. Right, right. So, But as I grew in the Lord, I started seeing that there was a devil coming around. and says, mm -hmm. that's good, but you know, you, can, you don't have to do so much praying you don't have to do mm -hmm. so much reading and even now i fight battles with prayer a lot sure, of Christians we all do we all do. but the point is i'm saying is that he tries to take your attention off mm -hmm. of, of 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 faith in christ mm -hmm. and then he put it on something else the resurrection and i want to get back to it because we're not getting away from the resurrection we know oh, talk, oh no it, it's, it's all leading it, to it. It, it it's it's the resurrection mm -hmm. we have to look back at the day that Jesus rose from the dead mm -hmm. and the testimony that he gave mm -hmm. to the world, mm -hmm. even now, until it, they're trying to change it now, we use the ACBC system. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the reason why the, the AC was after death. Right. right. The BC mm -hmm. was before Mm. Christ, before Christ, right, right, A D B C, mm -hmm. and that's the whole principle. And that was that was that to identify that one day, mm -hmm. two thousand years ago, where time start really mattered. Mm -hmm. We judge all time mm. from, I, from I, the, after his death and mm -hmm. before it's to deny Christ, right, so yeah, before Christ, and that's the whole. Thing. Now we got. And an AC something. Uh, yeah, uh, I heard they were changing that. Yeah, but because the, the, mm -hmm. they can do whatever they want. They mm -hmm. can't change right. the great event. Mm -hmm. Every man mm -hmm. on this planet that ever lived is mm -hmm. going to bow before this Jesus. Right. I don't care if you're Catholic, Muslim, Buddhist. Right. Whatever denomination whatever. you might title yourself as. Right. Whatever whatever person you could be fighting God all your life, you're mm -hmm. gonna bow before him. One way or this another. resurrected Christ is you're gonna bow before him. Hitler had to bow before him. 
Hold on. Pilate had to bow, bow before him. All mm-hmm. the Roman emperors had to bow before him. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar, Alexander the Great, and I all can go them. on. They're going to all bow before him. Right, right. And they're going to have to testify and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord mm-hmm. to the glory of the Father. You think of, you want to talk about an important person? Mm-hmm. Right. There is an important, there is the center of all life. Mm-hmm. But Jesus Christ and his resurrection. Wow. Yeah. And, and you know, the reason why I believe that the death and the resurrection is real and is important, because you see so much people attack it. Well, and yeah. just to show you right there, it's not, they wouldn't be attacked. The devil or his minions or these people, they don't know they're being used by the devil a lot of times. Some are Satanists and purposely know what they're doing, but some don't. But for them, you know, they don't attack Muhammad. They don't attack but, Buddha. They because don't there's attack, no salvation in none of those. Right. So people got to ask yeah. questions. For them to be attacking the resurrection and the cross and well, Jesus they started, himself. Yeah. yeah. They started that the very night, he, the very mm-hmm. day he rose. Right, right. Yeah. But you know what? Even they, back then. Well, it, mm-hmm. they never succeeded. Nope. Men, nope. even today, mm-hmm. 2,000 years later, has never stopped. Attacking. The, but it never defeated the, the, the resurrection. No, nope. They nope. never could defeat it. It's always, you know, you, you're going to hear like people say, well, you know, like, like Jesus was a good man. Mm-hmm. That's all to attack Oh, he was just a deity. good prophet, you know. It's yeah. to attack his resurrection. Mm-hmm. But he never rose. Uh, you know, Muslims say uh, Allah has no son. Yeah, he never existed. Yeah, that's one of the well, famous ones. The, Jesus never existed. Yeah, yeah but they, now they can't deny it. No, they There's can't. There's too much evidence now. But they're going to make it sound like it's something else. Right, right. They're going to make it sound so ineffective. But it's not going to be ineffective because it's going to save just like it did on the day of Pentecost. It's still the same message. Right. Jesus Christ. Is, I want everybody that's listened to this podcast and anybody that might... Just drop in. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say something. You ain't getting to heaven without the cross That's right. and the resurrection. That's right. Come That's on. Right. You ain't getting to heaven without Jesus. You just assume, holler and scream and, and do whatever you want. You're going to face him one day. Mm-hmm. There's mm-hmm. no man to ever live on this earth to ever make the effect that Jesus Christ made. The greatest testimony in a human being. And he wasn't, he was God and he was fully man and fully God mm-hmm. because he had a flesh. You know what I'm saying? That's but right. the point is that he he made an, the greatest contribution to man mm-hmm. that he died and rose that man don't have to go to hell for eternity. That's and right. that's the whole point. The resurrection is not a good story. No. no. It's not just a, 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 a story we tell around Easter time. Right, right, right. It's, it's, tell, it's, not a, it's not a Sunday school message. Right, right. If it is, we need to go back to Sunday school. Right, right. It's not, other words, what you're saying, it's not a fairy tale. It's not, it's not just a good story that's made up. It has changed demands. multiple mm-hmm. millions and millions and mm-hmm. lives. Still uh, today. Till yeah. today, the message is still the same. It's still this. Preachers that are listening to me, don't stop preaching Jesus and Him crucified and risen from the dead. Yeah, right. Go back to the Bible. Go back to living mm-hmm. a whole, telling your people, live a holy life. Trust yeah. Him fully. Mm-hmm. Don't give up. That's right. That's stand right. on that one thing. Like Paul said, where you, the, the gospel which now you stand. Mm-hmm. Right. Stand. Right. Because I don't plan. Listen, this is, the rapture's coming soon. You, uh, and people say, well, rapture is in the Bible. Resurrection is. And, 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 and Jesus said, <laughs> I am the resurrection and the life. So if you don't like using the rapture, you can use the resurrection if you want. We're going to all raise one day. We're we'll all right. be uh, raptured to meet the Lord. The resurrection is going to happen. That's right. But if it if we don't hold to that one, one, one truth, mm-hmm. we're yet in our sin. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. And I know, I know it's going to... And I want to challenge you. Let's, we, we still got a minute. Can I pray with them, little Lord? Lord, yeah, I just okay. pray right now, Father. I just, let's just pray, bro. Mm-hmm. I ask you right now, Father, as we ministered on the resurrection, the power of that resurrection, that the souls out there that are listening right now, Father, mm-hmm. Father, if they don't know you, draw them. Draw them, Lord God. Draw them to Christ. And if you don't know the Lord, I want to pray with you. Say, dear God in heaven, I believe that you died on the cross. I believe that you gave your life for me. That you took my punishment and my judgment upon your body. Right now, 
I ask Jesus to come into my heart. I believe he rose again the third day. I believe he's sitting on the right hand of God the Father. In Jesus' name, I stand on that word, Father. I stand, I repent, I come to you. In Jesus' name, if you prayed that prayer, mm. please let somebody know. Let the brothers just searching mm. who know. Yes. Uh, you know, and, and, and let them know your life has changed. Mm. Your life has changed. Your life has changed. Amen. And remember, your life is in one thing. Jesus Christ and him crucified Amen. and risen from the dead. Amen. Well, that Amen. that was that was good. That that was really awesome. I mean, we had a we had to not hurry up, but we had to put something together tonight because of some mercy. Some things came out, but it was good though. The Holy Ghost puts yes. you together, son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's gonna work. That's right. That's right. Well, I'm I'm glad that y'all listened to us tonight. I, we only did two amigos, but it turned out all right, better than I thought it was gonna be. So. I appreciate y'all watching this program tonight and pray for Brother Isaac. He was sick today. He's not feeling too well. And pray for Brother Bowen and Arb. You know, keep them in your prayers that they can feel better and they can do better things. And I thank you for listening to us tonight. And remember, you know, when you celebrate with your families, you know, remember what Christ came for. You know, it's just like the birth of Christ. A lot of people, when they celebrate Christmas, they forget what the birth is all about. It's about Christ. Same thing with Easter and it's about the death and burial of Christ. So it has to, everything has a point to Christ. Christ is the center. And we can't be distracted with Santa Claus or the Easter eggs or the bunny, you know. We got to be, you know, got to focus on Christ. You know, years ago, and I'm going to say one more thing before you. Yeah. I lost it, but I had a little sign. Mm-hmm. A little cross sign. It was a white sign. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it, you could probably still find them and go to, like, the bookstores. Mm-hmm. He is risen. Oh, I like that. We have he it on. Risen. We have it on the pulpit. Remember right, that cross? Right. That, he yeah. is risen. We have it risen on our little thing. The next thing I want to put across is he's he's crucified, and the, uh, the one on the pulpit, he's risen. He's risen. So, he is yeah. risen. Amen. God All right. Amen. Well, Praise I want to thank y'all for watching tonight, and join us next time for brothers of searching. And remember, scribe. You know, tell others about. You know, word of mouth helps very much when it comes to business, when it comes to platforms like this or ministry. It really helps when people spread the word. I don't agree too much with gossip, but as one time, even gossip might be good. You know, spread the word, tell others about it. You know, and and, and so we can reach more people and stuff. So I want to encourage you tonight. Tell your friends and neighbors and. And uh, encourage people to go to our bookstore, you know, go to our books, go to our, you know, clothes section. That helps out as well to spread the gospel out. So I want to thank you all tonight and God bless you and have a great night and happy, I guess we can say Easter or Resurrection, you know, Resurrection Day. So thank you and have a good night.